Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports, where we are surrounded by Pro Return National Hockey League logos. Got to blur out Kay Whitmore's address so nobody sends him any hate mail for making us wear restricted sizing in the National Hockey League. I just said us as if I... <laughs> it's just like... Yeah. They don't trickle down to Beer League. It's okay. But if you ever wanted NHL gear, Cam's got it here at the Hockey Shop. Pro returns from Bauer. Whole bunch of stuff he's going to walk us through today. You may be asking why I'm wearing Mike McKenna's gloves. They're on the wrong hands. Um, in part because we love Mike McKenna, but also it comes in real handy. That's easy closure in case Cam pisses me off. Cam, you know, this 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 already was a mistake given him the full right gear. I, I I messed that one up. But but keep going. Yes, we do got a full right set, full which right. is great because it's already rare enough. 2S Pro. Yes. What feels like for sure, like that's definitely got a beefed up palm then in it. Correct. Don't know if it's a practice palm. So, Don't think so, but just a full pro palm. Love it. Love the cool it. Cool thing about some of these uh, NHL gear and also Mike's gear in particular, there is quite a few custom specs that aren't necessarily available at a retail level. So a few things to kind of go over. Uh, we'll start with the beautiful Buffalo Sabres. Oh, do I have to put down the blocker? You do. You, you do got to put it down. Linus Allmark set. Linus Allmark. Linus. My, I gave it. I gave it a good effort. You're in my world now, Cam. It's yes. Linus. There we go. Hey, for once, now you're the expert at the moment here. Hey, look at that. For once. <laughs> All right. So we'll start with the glove. This is one thing I've been messing around with this, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly what angle this is and what it's kind of mimicked after. To me, this almost feels like uh, Reactor 6000 Vaughn T5500 overall feel. Single T, a little bit of a shallower pocket, you know, common for those older Vaughn gloves, but great closure and feel. A little bit thinner on the palm, I would say. It doesn't feel like the most padded one, especially compared to some of the other ones that I got sitting in here. That's because Linus catches everything in the pocket. But if you catch everything in the pocket, shouldn't be a problem. Overall, pretty stock locker for the most part. Ultrasonic, not stock on the special label on the back. Yes. We've got a little Swedish to share with you today. Cam's going to pronounce that. Uh, uh, Anders Aknut. And it means? Uh, breathe. And enjoy. <laughs> See, NHL players like to have little reminders to enjoy the game, folks. And I probably butchered that pronunciation, so I already know I we'll tried. Get, don't worry. <laughs> we'll reach out to Linus. We'll get the correct one. Walk me through his pads. 2X Pro, obviously beyond the custom graphics. Cam, what else are we looking at? Here? Custom specs on this pad quite a bit. Uh, overall, fitment-wise, it seems to be based off of uh, 2X Pro. Um, knee cradle, a little bit different. Again, NHL specs that do have to be followed here to a bit of a degree. Doesn't have that same uh, integration as we've seen as Stabila Side or Stabila Flex. Uh, leather strapping, um, still getting a little bit more of that control. Um, also... Custom overall slip for where that bootstrap actually comes through. So that's not something you would have seen on a stock pad as well as a quick call out. Uh, bolted on toe bridge as well. Once again, something that we only see in uh, NHL custom pads. Um, overall fit and feel wise. Oh, whoa, 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 Oh, it's not psych. I thought it was a removable pillow, in which case I would have said, Kay Whitmore never should have signed off on this because they're not allowed to be removable. But it looks removable, and it's actually stitched he, in he, at the he base. Didn't, he didn't sign off on these ones. Oh, interesting. That's worth noting. <laughs> All right, moving on, because we've got still quite a few more pads to cover. So, uh, once hold on to these. You can pronounce it for me. You're the expert. Prosvetov. First name? Ivan. Prosvetov. Pads in front of me here. Uh, Do you know what team blocker. he plays for? Uh, Phoenix Coyotes. They would be the Arizona Coyotes now. Oh, oh. Good try. Where's that left-handed block? Uh, here we go. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, he got me on that one. All right. Pretty sure you got yourself on that one. So this is a, Pat is a, it seems to be an interesting combination of a ultrasonic 
and a 2X Pro. Um, Stabila slide knee. Overall, still 2X Pro feel from the knee down. Um, quite a bit stiffer though. This is one of the stiffest pads that we've got in the collection. This one, I can't, like, I'm, come on. <laughs> like, I can't put really any flex into that. Um, Hyperlite blocker. Hyperlite blocker. Stock Hyperlite glove. Uh, we do have an additional set that does have a thicker uh, palm as well. Um, and it is labeled P, so it is practice. Um, so you can actually buy the set and get an extra practice glove. If you would like, yes, absolutely. I like. Okay, so that covers that. Now, pop that away. I'm just gonna hold on to the pretty ones. That's fine, I've got some nice pretty ones in front of me. And if you recognize this one, Devin Dubnik. This is a graphic that actually premiered on ingolmag.com from one of the summer camps up in Kelowna with Doobie. It's this nice humble brag that we can throw in there too as well. I want to start off with the glove that Kevin's messing around with. Can't realize that I have the blocker right here, but that's okay. So beyond the custom graphic itself, now we've had a little bit of debate over what we think this is. It may be the coveted Bauer 580 clone. So we're still kind of undecided on exactly what it is, but in terms of a closure wise, it's unlike anything else that we have on the wall. Um, maybe by the time this video airs, we can get Kevin to maybe have a little bit of pro confirmation for us. Uh, I'll send Doobie a note. There you go. See, that kind of insight that you only get here at the hockey shop and in Gold Mag teamed up. Walk us through the pads, idiot. Okay. Pad wise. So very custom still um, and a lot of some of the um, what we call I would say older features um, that we've seen on the previous models to me this is based off of a 1s pad still the integration of the thigh wrap and Kevin can attest that apparently. Doobie didn't like knee pads Doobie didn't like knee pads a uh, big proponent of knee pads over here so these are removable they are just laced in if you did want to take those off uh, Lake Channel is still a 2x pad or 1X, depending on how far you want to go back. Um, overall, leg channel, things like that, again, still kind of holds true to some of the um, original, you know, 1S, 1X pads. Um, very, very steep pre-curve to the pad. Um, something that you normally don't see, especially at the retail level. Um, still some okay flex to it though, again, as well. So that covers the pads, gloves, 2X Pro blocker for Doobie, but if you weren't into Doobie Specs, you could actually mix and match them with these Andrew Hammond gloves because it's all green, and he obviously got them when he was with the Minnesota Wild. Great segue into that as well. So another one here to check out. Um, overall feel feels like pretty close to a stock ultrasonic, so that one kind of holds itself true. Um, ultrasonic blocker, once again, kind of holding true to just uh, what would be pretty much stock specs. Next. Next. I mean, I think we've, I think we've covered most of it there. I wonder... Actually, I thought there was something special. Mm, maybe a Stanley Cup winner's glove and blocker. Oh, uh, two-time Stanley Cup winner. Uh, excuse me, pardon Good me, two-time. Um, Look at that. Custom logos on the Andre Vasilevsky Custom setup. embroidery. Custom glove as well. Really calling this one out. This one's probably one of the key highlights that I've got. Um, you can feel the extra padding in there for sure. Yes, yes. Overall, extra padding. Pretty much stock um, hyperlight blocker for the most part. Um, maybe a little bit bigger on the palm wise, not the exact same material as what you'd see on the stock uh, blocker or as well in terms of for the palm fit. Um, glove overall feel wise, I mean, it almost feels closer to an ultrasonic set. But uh, again, I would say overall feel wise, you know, it kind of splits the difference between the two. Labeled as a hyperlight, feels more like an ultrasonic to me. Gonna take some breaking in. There's extra padding in there. All right, so all of this gear you're gonna find on sale. You missed one. I did. Did I? One more. Maybe one more additional one here, um, just because there is another cool spec to call out here. Anders Nilsson, well, with the Ottawa Senators, clearly based on the colors. Yes, thank you for showing me that I've already seen it. I like to call out the blocker on this one. This is that uh, ever hidden slash coveted 1X blocker, the two piece series. This is available at a stock retail. You can custom order that. Uh, however, it is a nice call out in terms of overall feel. Again, being a little bit thicker, a um, bit more balanced on some of the guys as they were saying. Um, also custom glove to me, this feels like um, 
our Allmark set in terms of the actual break and feel wise, just with the double T. A little bit of that shallower pocket, but uh, as you said, you know, literally focused on that catch, so you don't need that depth, right? So all this gear up on sale, up on thehuckshop.com. You will find us all kind of going live April 8th. No cam. It's on the 16th. Any uncertainty about fit, spec, just make sure you give Cam a call with any questions about some of the, like you said, there are some unique features on these Pro Return pads beyond the sweet custom graphic. If you got any questions, give him a call at 604-589-8299. Whatever you do, don't call the number over here on the screen. Or you can call our 1-800 number at 1-800-567-7790. If anybody happened to catch Kay's number, it's not actually on there. We apologize, Kay. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin.